for your money marbles and chalk quietly, and I'll hide, and I won't bother, embarrass you. But uh, I think if we ever get the bill passed, you see, we're going to put in the governor's amendment where he can veto anything, any governor can veto any project. We're going to we're going to turn over jobs in every one of these colleges, which will really uh, be helpful, I think, as far as the young people are concerned, because they'll need them the I most. The virtues of the bill, I want to be for it. Just I know it. I'm just as anxious for that bill as you are, Mr. President. What, uh, what, uh, well, you, you just... I'm going to try to, as I told Sarge on yesterday, I'm going to try to work every way that I can, every scheme that I possibly can. I thought we had uh, another member that would go along with you, and uh, drop his uh, ticket. Well, uh, they do that, you know, and... But, you know, uh, Mr. President, I, I, I'm as anxious. But don't tell me. I know you. You're for the folks, and you're a human being. You're my friend, and I don't want you to do anything to hurt yourself. Well, I don't. I'm just going to do anything to hurt you. I know that. I know that. Hell, you don't need to tell me that. Old Thornberry would resign oh, if man. we. He'd resign if he didn't know we were each other. And I'll, okay. I'll give you everything, including creating a new judgeship if it's necessary for you, because I'm going to be here. I'm well, going to be here a while, but this, uh, this uh, damn George Water High. Got off the telephone and speak of the house. It, it, it's awful. I just never have been so callous. I know that. I know that. Uh, but, Mr. President, uh, will, will you give me a uh, license to call you back on this? I'll give you a license to call me back on this or anything else, day or night, that you want to, anytime. Well, and I'm just going to work uh, my top level best to try to get in. I, I want to vote this bill so bad I don't want to. It's a good bill, Bob, but here's another thing for me. If uh, Halleck, if Halleck uh, takes 35, 40 of my Democrats and beats me on this bill, it's just like Roosevelt getting beat on Supreme Court. They say, well, he's lost his leadership, and it'll be like dominoes, and I can't, if I can beat Halleck on this one, I will have had well, a perfect... This, Mr. President, I'm going to train myself every way, and I'm going to be uh, looking for whatever loophole that I possibly can find. Well, I just didn't... Uh, Dream that those two uh, people over you know, no. would have gone that way. No. Well, I didn't. I didn't talk to them, and I didn't know yeah. anything about it. And well, because uh, uh, Sarge told me uh, yesterday that he went in there uh, full blooded. Mm. And uh, so that's the way. Well, I'll tell you this, Bob. If it costs you, I'll guarantee. I don't know what it'll be that you that I can do, but I will guarantee that I'll more than make up with it. I make up with it with interest. Bless your heart. Thank you. You call me back. Yes, sir. Bye.